Hey guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how you can create a soft and streamy Instagram filter like this in the Spark AR Studio, so all the textures are really smooth and soft. Then we will also apply a grain and dust overlay to the filter and I will also show you how you can apply a LUT to this filter. You can download all the assets you need, just follow the download link in the description and download all the assets for free and then we can start. Hey again, so let's create this soft filter here in the Spark AR Studio. Before we start working here in the Spark AR Studio, we have to download some assets. I created some assets for you, so just go to the video description and click on the download link. You will um, find this Dropbox page and here just click on download. After you have downloaded the files, unzip the folder you have just downloaded. Then you will find this folder with those three um, yeah, files in it. After the download, we can move on here in the Spark AR Studio. At first, we will just import the assets we have just downloaded. For this, go to Add Assets, Import, and for the first assets, select Color LUT, because we will import our LUT1.bng. Of course, you can use any other LUT um, for this filter, this is just an example, so you know how to use a LUT in this filter, but yeah, as I said, you can use any other filter to give the filter the look you want it to. So, the next thing, also add assets, go to import, and now from computer. Now just um, yeah, import the skins moving.png. So, and the last thing we have to import from our computer is the grain and dust block. This block will yeah, simplify the workflow to create this filter, so just import it. So, after we have imported the three um, files we have just downloaded, we have to import another asset. But this asset we will find in the asset library. So, just go um, to the asset library and search for blur. Here you will find this batch, batch asset called Blur. Click on it and just import it for free. After the import, you will find it here in the Spark AR Studio in the Assets panel. So, now we are almost ready to start programming this filter. But we also need the camera texture. So for this, go to the camera object in our scene. Click on it, go to the right hand side and here click on texture extraction. After you have clicked on this little plus, you will find the camera texture under the textures in the assets panel. So now we are yeah, done with importing some assets. We will import one later on, but now we can start programming this filter. So open the patch editor and start importing the assets to the patch editor. The first I will import is the color LUT then the camera texture and then also our blur patch. So now we start connecting those patches. Um, I will connect the RGBA output to the texture input of the uh, color LUT shader and then connect the output of the color LUT shader to the texture input of the blur patch. So now we need um, a patch where we can connect the output of the blur. For this we need to add a new material to our assets, I will call this LUT, set the shader type to flat and then click on the little arrow next to texture. Now you will find this LUT patch in the patch editor. So now we can connect the output of the blur patch to the input of the LUT. So that we can see what we have done now, we have to create a new um, yeah, object in our scene because we have to create a rectangle object. So now we have created the rectangle object. You can see it here, but it is yeah, small. We need to make it bigger to cover the whole screen. For this, select it, go to the right hand side and set the width to fill width and the height also to fill height. For this, just click in the box and then select fill height. So now it yeah, covers the whole screen. And now set, just set the material of the rectangle to the LUT material we have just created. And now we just see that the LUT is applied and also that the um, yeah, picture isn't that sharp anymore. It is a little bit softer, a little bit blurred. And this is thanks to the blur patch. So now you can play around with the amount of the blur. You can set it to 0.2 for less blur or you can set it to 1 for uh, much 
straight up blur. I will set it to 0 0.4. I think this is a nice sweet spot for this filter. So now we also want to um, make the filter um, a little bit more soft when, when you film yourself. So we will also include um, face softening, so face retouching to make the skin a little bit softer. So for this we have to create two new materials. The first material is the retouching material. So just create it, go to the right hand side and set the shader type to retouching. And now just let it as it is. So the next thing we have to create another material, I will call it face LUT. So set the shader type to flat and then set um, <clears throat> for the texture. Um, we also will do the same thing like with the LUT before. So go to the little arrow next to texture and extract it to your patch editor. So now we need the, the color LUT shader and the blur a second time for this. Just select it and then copy and paste it. So now we have the second time and then just connect the output of the blur to the face LUT. Now we also have to connect the LUT to the color LUT input of the color LUT shader and we also need a texture for this shader. We can't use the camera texture because now we just want to use the face. For this we have to add a new, a new object to our scene, a face tracker. So after you have created the face tracker, go to the right hand side when selected the face tracker and click on texture extraction. Now you will find a face tracker texture in your textures folder in the asset panel. Now do the same as before, just drag and drop it into the patch editor. So now we have this new patch and we can connect their RGBA output to the texture input of the color LUT shader. So now we need two um, face meshes where we can add the material to. For this um, add a new object and add a face mesh, two of them. So. When you have created the two face message, mesh, meshes, just um, select both of them and then drag and drop it into the um, yeah, face tracker object. So now the two meshes are tracked to the face and we can apply the um, yeah, materials to. For the face mesh zero, I will apply the retouching material and face mesh one, I will apply the face LUT. So now we have created this but you can see there's something strange going on here at the teeth and the mouth and also the eyes. Um, yeah, to get rid of it, just go up and deselect eyes and also deselect mouth. Now we have, um, yeah, get rid of this, but we also have this black line here and yeah, we can also um, get rid of this too. For this, select the face LUT material, go to the right hand side and then activate the alpha channel here at this material. Now we can um, select a texture and for this texture we will um, yeah, select the skin smoothing texture we have imported um, at the beginning and now the black line is gone. So um, now we have created the filter, it has a soft overlay and also has this soft, f soft face. Of course you can, um, yeah, play around with the skin smoothening, you can um, put it to 100% or can just be decent at 20%. So, but to round this thing, um, to make it more look better, um, we can imp we can also use the grain and dust. You can leave it now as it is or you can use also this grain and dust block. For this, just drag and drop the grain and dust block to your scene and then it will automatically apply the grain and the dust to your filter. So this saves a lot of work. But you can see here there's something strange going on. The face yeah, seems to be in front of the grain and dust, even though it is here um, in the right position. For this we have to change the advanced render settings of the face LUT material. For this just select the face LUT material, go to the right hand side and then just deselect the use dev test and also write to dev and now the, yeah, the face is behind our overlay. So now the filter is finished, you can upload it to your Instagram um, or play around with the settings, play around with the LUT you want here to include but yeah 
This is the magic all about the soft Instagram filter. If you like this video, if it could help you, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.